we're going to be the, 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 the smartest, most detailed, hardest working staff because that's what we want in players. We, we want our team to be smart, tough, competitive. So regardless, when, when they get on the field, you know this is going to be a smart football team that's going to play their tail off and work really hard, um, and you're going to be competitive um, every game. That's how we want to build our football team, but that's what you're going to have in the building too. Um, we're going to make sure we're, we're detailed in the process and we're doing everything we can and turning over every stone um, to, to, to make this team as competitive as we can. That's what we're going to do, and we're going to do it the right way. Um, we're going to do it the right way. We're going to build for long-term success. Um, so I, I know what sometimes with that uh, there can come patience, but I just want them to have to trust us and have faith that, that um, we're going to do everything we, we can do um, to really build this team the right way. I would say the, the first steps are um, it, it's, it's really obviously me and Arthur communicating a lot, um, again, on, on our vision, uh, making sure we're aligned, um, and then as, as the new coaches come in and as the coaching announcements are made, um, then all of a sudden then they, they're really studying the team. And, um, and as soon as we can, as soon as everything's set and we know who's going to be in the building, I, I want to sit down with the guys and, and, and really go through our process and, and go through our schedule. And I really want to get started on those things. So I just want to really get going um, and get going with the process. Yeah, what really attracted me to this team was, uh, number one, uh, the ownership. Uh, the organization, um, and then and then again the, the, the players as well. And, and I know there's a good culture here. I know there's some really good players, um, and so really just the, the the whole thing. But it starts with ownership because big picture, um, if you have uh, the, the right owner, um, the right ownership in place, then everything's going to filter down. And and the mindset that that that, that Arthur Blank has in terms of winning, but winning the right way. Um, and, and, you know, there's a really passionate fan base here and it's a good community. It's, it's a place you want to raise your family and be a part of. So all those things um, make this job uh, very attractive. Um, I, I would say the vision moving forward is to, is to really focus on, number one, making sure you have the right people in the building, making sure you have the right people on the bus. And, and then we're going to move forward and um, go through the, uh, the free agency process, go through the draft process, and, um, and, and make sure we're, um, we're continue to add the right people with the right, uh, with the right values, with the right makeups, and, and making sure we're in line with the coaches. So um, it's going to be an, an inclusive process. And, um, and, and look, it, we got a, a lot of work to do, and we're going to work hard, and we're excited to get going. Really, for me, it's, it's really football and family. That's what I do. That's it. Football and family. So with that, uh, that has to everything like my faith and my principles. It, it has to be interlaced in everything I do. And and so it, you want to you want to do things the right way on a daily basis within your job um, because that's what I do. Like this is literally all I do. And so I want to make sure I'm I'm the right example. I want to make sure um, I'm setting the right example for my kids, for my family, and we're doing things the right way. And then on top of that, when you do things the right way, that's how you build things the right way and have sustained success. You, you know, when you have the, the right culture in the, the locker room, the right culture in the building, and you're bringing in the right people, then you're winning the right way. You, you know, you want to build something that uh, you're not just proud of these guys on the field, but you're proud of them off the field. Yeah, well, you, you have to continue to evolve. You, you know, you have, to, you have your principles, but you have to evolve. You have to have the mindset to, to always be looking, looking to learn. You have to be inquisitive. Um, whether you're a, a GM or a head coach or really a leader in, in any department um, in the building. You have to be inquisitive. You have to always be learning because when, when you think you know it all, then that's when you're in trouble. So you have to understand that, hey, let's continue to learn and, um, and, and continue to evolve. And, and as things change in the game, um, then, hey, continue to learn. So you have to look at history, right, because history is going to tell you. Um, it's going to tell you the story, and, and yet you have to continue to work hard to be in front of the curve and evolve in, in all areas. And, and, and I think that starts with being inquisitive, always trying to learn and always listening, um, bring, listening to people that are smarter than you and learning from them.